medieval cities were filthy, beyond belief. Instead of using toilets, sewer systems, and treatment plants, medieval people emptied chamber pots into festering, disease-ridden cesspits. One of the people who changed that sorry state of affairs was Sir John Harrington. John Harrington was an English nobleman born in 1560. He was one of Queen Elizabeth's godchildren, and she often encouraged him to write poetry. She would come to regret that encouragement. Harrington's poetry was so risque that the queen eventually exiled him from her court. In 1584, Elizabeth told Harrington that he could not return to the court until he had translated all 40 chapters of the epic Italian poem Orlando Furioso into English, a task so arduous that many assumed Harrington would fail. Eight years later, Harrington returned from exile with the translated poem and a groundbreaking new invention, the world's first flushable toilet. Using a system of levers and weights, Harrington's device poured water from an elevated cistern down into a toilet bowl, flushing human waste into a cesspool below. In 1598, Harrington installed his invention at Richmond Palace, a royal residence on the River Thames. His invention became popular among some members of the nobility, but it didn't reach the general public for several centuries. However, by 1848, a flushing toilet was installed in every new dwelling in the UK. Today, more than two-thirds of the world has access to a flushing toilet, and millions more gain access every year. By providing a way to separate humanity from its waste, the toilet helps prevent the epidemics of cholera, dysentery, hepatitis A, typhoid, and polio that once ravaged the world. For that reason, Sir John Harrington is our 30th Hero of Progress.